to what I was saying. And he, I get this call today, and this gentleman had these places on him. He had fell asleep on the beach in Florida back in March. And the next day, he had these places show up on his arms and legs. So he's been to three doctors, and all three of them have told him something different. And so, of course, he was worried. He was really concerned because it, he couldn't get them to go away. They were getting worse. And I told him, you know, because I first had to get him calmed down and let him realize, you know, it's just, you know, it's the stigma of it all, superstition, just, just you know, just get back to basics, calm down. Uh, as far as don't, let's just de-stress and remove those concerns. So the main thing I wanted him to do was think back when the first onset, the first time he seen them, when they occurred, uh, what had he been doing prior to that. And that's when he was telling me that he woke up the next day after having fell asleep on the beach in Florida and had these places on him. So I said, there's two things that we could potentially be dealing with here. So let me ask you the first thing. Since you realize the onset, they've continued to itch and they've stayed stationary in the one spot. He said, yes. And I said, so you have a doctor that's telling you now that they're eczema. And he said, yes, that they formed a contact dermatitis and he's got eczema. So he was calling me, you know, because I specialize in treating eczema. And I told him, I said, well, no, I think we're dealing with two different things here, but let me just clear up the first one and we'll be able to go from that point. I said, you said you fell asleep on the beach in Florida. And he said, yes. I said, you probably have beach fleas. He said, beach fleas? He said, I heard one of them say that it looked like flea bites. I said, yes. Florida is notorious for having beach fleas. And they are like mites. They are just like a chigger bite. They will get up under the first layer of skin in between the skin, you know, the upper layer of skin and the dermis. And they will itch you just like a chigger. And you have to suffocate them. And he didn't, he said, I don't, you know, that just don't make any sense. I said, I know this is going to sound crazy, but we're very southern. I said, so if you've been in North Carolina long enough, you know, not to be surprised by anything we say or do. <laughs> he said, yes, that's correct. And I said, so this is what you do. You go get you some clear nail polish and you paint these areas and then cover them. Make sure they stay covered with a clear polish. But if you want to give yourself some insurance, after you put the clear nail polish on them, put a Band-Aid over them and over the next 24 hours, it will suffocate them and you will stop itching. They'll dry up and, of course, you know, scab up and come off. And um, so, to make a long story short, it did take me a little bit of convincing him to get him, you know, like he really thought there's, because this has been going on for months. And I said, well, us in the south here, we'll tell the kids, you know, be careful when you go pick wildflowers because you'll get chicker bites. And they will eat you like the seven-year itch. Now, mind you, I told him, I said, I'm sure they've already eliminated. You don't have scabies. He said, yeah, they tested me. I don't have scabies. I said, exactly. I said, that's an internal mite, and it has to be treated internally with medication. I said, but if it's um, like this flea bite is replicating a chigger bite, they're like a mite, and they just get in under the skin. And unless you suffocate them, they're going to itch you. And non-stop because they are digging around in there and it's very irritating to the skin. And I said, and they'll stay with you until you smother them out, so to speak. They're just going to irritate you and get worse. So, we have, a, you know, to be continued <laughs> on that. But he did feel better after I explained to him, yes, they can continue to bite and itch you and irritate you. And yes, you know, this is, um, you know, it's not uncommon. If you are in Florida to be bitten by beach fleas, and the reason why they're so awful is because they're like a chair bite. They will get in that skin, and they will irritate, and they will keep digging and biting and irritating you. So, has anybody else ever had this problem with flea bites from Florida coast or any coastline? Please 
put it in the comments so I can